G'day, g'day. It's your boy, Ronnie Ree, and today we're back once again for another mid-tier commentary. This time on the man, the myth, the absolute unit known as Quantum TV. Now, this man has been in a bit of controversy uh, a few months ago. I can't remember why, probably some copyright issues. He's in a lot of those nowadays. But this one's special because he thinks the Steam Deck Right, literally one of the better portable consoles is truly garbage, and this is from a quote PC gamer. I don't know much about the Steam Deck. I don't own one. I know a few mates that do. They absolutely love it. So this is gonna be no bias, I guess. I don't know, but anyway, strap on your strap on. Call it a day. Bob's your uncle, and let's get started. If you've been thinking about buying a Steam Deck, don't waste your money. It's not worth it. Not Heck, even don't five waste your money. Into it's the video. not worth it. Not ten, not half an hour, not fucking twenty years. When in the first five seconds he brings up a very compelling argument on why we shouldn't buy it, because if we're planning on it, you know, if we want to spend our money the way we want to spend it, we just can't. And we shouldn't buy something that we've been looking forward to. Now I've seen this video before, I know how dumb his reasons are, and trust me, they can be counted. Just so we're clear, I bought the $650 version. Most of the people having this conversation probably don't even have the same exact version that I have here, didn't invest half as much, okay, or maybe just half, right, bought the cheapest one and think that earns them some sort of ability to speak at the table. Now, that earns them some sort of ability to speak at the table. why saying, oh yeah, other people don't have an opinion, is because you bought the most expensive one. When in reality, you're just buying, what, anti-glare etch glass and a 512 gigabyte SSD. Even if you have the cheapest model that comes in at still $400, you still have the exact same experience, minus the storage and the uh, special glass. And that will still, it still means that you can speak at the table addressing issues and how to like overcome them. Because it's the same piece of hardware at the end of the day. It still runs the same operating system, still runs the same games. It's simple. Because I'm a PC gamer. I absolutely love gaming on PC, okay? Don't take my word for it. My, pretty much my baby right here, all right? You've got the uh, RTX 3080 Ti right here. Right? Not to criticize, because I like doing that. Uh, if you have RGB, please, for the love of God, just sync it up to some software, sync it up to your motherboard software, that makes life so much easier. Second of all, what is that cable management? Like, if it's your, your, your baby, at least put some care into the wiring. Please, like, even I do some cable management on my shitbox of a computer. Okay, I still have a 1070. It does the job. It does what I need. Does that still make me a gamer? I don't know. Let's ask Quantum. That as a real PC gamer who actually invests thousands upon thousands of dollars in PC, this one particular Steam Deck is over $650 before taxes. Okay? Before you taxes. You're not a okay? real PC gamer. Only... You're only a real PC gamer if you invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into a box that runs the same operating system as, I don't know, a fucking school computer. Okay, the one thing about PC gaming that makes us good, and there are some issues in the community category, is that you can run games on any computer. I also say if you have a shit box, say like mine, I can still run games. Oh, shut up, phone. I can still run games, I can still call myself a game, I enjoy them, I'm happy. And yeah, you can have someone on a laptop, they're still a PC gamer. You can have someone on some Windows 95 computer, and they play some of the old vintage classic games like Half-Life or and shit. They're still a gamer, okay? And it does not do a very crucial thing. You see, the Steam Deck was purchased exclusively on the Steam Store on their website, right? You can't go to Amazon, you can't go to Best Buy, you can't go to Walmart. You have to purchase it directly from Steam. When you do this, you do not, I repeat, do not 
have access to your entire library. First not argument have in. access to your entire library. We're already complaining about how oh the, 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 the game thing work and how you can only buy it off the Steam store. Now, I reckon the reason why you can only buy the Steam Deck from the Steam Door is probably just supply chain issues, even though it's well into 2022, almost 2023. There are still some supply chain issues, not saying that there is just everything's on supply chain, there's just some. And another factor is that, of course, every game won't work, because that every game's made differently. Like, for example, oh yeah, you can run this game on it, but you can't run that. That's because the Steam Deck is running a custom OS, Steam OS, which has now been based off Arch Linux. Uh, you can get rid of that operating system, and you can just install Windows. Uh, Valve said that you can, they support it, and it's just up to you. But I don't see how that's just a reason, oh yeah, it's not it's not supported, that's why you shouldn't buy it. And like, there's ways around this, and there's just, just, you don't do your research on these types of topics. This is a violation, in my opinion, 100%. Because when I go to Nintendo and I buy the Switch, they don't say, oh yeah, we were selling a Nintendo Switch, but you gotta check to see what's compatible, even though we're selling hey it guys, to you. Hey guys, so uh, today I'm gonna make another dumb point on why the Steam Deck is bad. Uh, so if I buy a game in 2016 when the Steam Deck wasn't announced and I've been playing it on my PC, it should have to 100% work with the Steam Deck. If not, I'm actually going to make a YouTube video on why the Steam Deck is truly garbage for the money as a PC gamer. Uh, and then get absolutely ratioed with the like to dislike a ratio and have to disable comments. Now, that's why I like the Nintendo Switch because I'm a Nintendo fanboy and I'm literally creaming in my pants right now talking about them. And honestly, I cream all day and I still won't care. You see, people talk all that crap like the Nintendo Switch is just a toy for children. But the truth is, they have rated M for Mature games and a backlog of multiplats. I guess we're just going to ignore that, right? Literally no one has said that. And the thing is, they're not even Steam. They're not even known for multiplats. And Steam, who, again, multiplats carry this fucking machine, okay, can't even be bothered to make sure all of them work when you bought it directly from them. Like, my entire Steam library, I only have a little over 20%. Dumb argument number three. Blame Steam for uh, the game devs not making it Linux compatible. Uh, that's honestly an L for Steam. Uh, they should know better. They should just run every single company and make every single game. Uh, as you can tell, this guy knows nothing about computers and how game the game industry works. He fucking reviews and monitors for all I know. And did better. Then, for that $650 before taxes, you got some small ass storage. They couldn't even be bothered to give you a terabyte. Let me, let me put that in perspective for you. Two things. One, you're not going to have your entire library on there. And two, just upgrade the uh, storage if you're not happy with it. Not a single gaming console, not handheld, console to date is $650 before taxes. Bruce comparing a uh, console to a handheld. So, of course, it will have less storage. Yet again, it was also a competitor to the Switch. Which, ready? Ready? only has like what 32 gigabytes on board storage so you're getting a better deal there for having more storage and it's actually fast okay and it has a terabyte of storage it has way more than what this offers and way more power yeah it has more power because it's plugging directly into your wall it's not running off a battery they are grossly overcharging because they think you are stupid because they think you don't know any better as a gamer and dumb argument number five now i think uh, Steam thinks you're retarded. Just just let that one sink in. Dumb boy games, trendy little dumb boy games are always available on these kinds of devices. But games that people like to play to unwind and have fun and to relax, like Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot, things like that, not compatible with this fucking thing. Well, everyone plays that game, mate. Uh, I don't. I only know like two people who do and they said it was mid. Uh, third of all, there is this thing called a PC. Okay, you don't have to play instantly, you can just go onto your computer and play the game to wind down. It's not that it's on there, so that you have other options to play the game and you're not taking the IQ of a doorknob, putting it in your brain and then thinking, like, oh, I should just play it on my computer if it's not compatible on here. So I'm sitting here at a point where I have this really garbage handheld, because let me tell you right now, if you buy a, a handheld from a company and they can't be bothered to optimize their entire library... And they, I mean, like, let me tell you, 
Okay, as a real PC gamer, not that bullshit kid that's on some IPS garbage monitor. I'm on a Quantum Dot OLED with rigs that cost thousands of dollars. You say OLED that while with rigs having that cost an Xbox controller plugged in, mate. If you invest thousands of dollars, at least get a good keyboard and mouse. Uh, no one cares what monitor you're using. Uh, that's what makes PC gaming good. Oh yeah, you can have like the top end monitor, but it's all skill. So if I were to Overwatch one v one you, or heck, fucking TF two one v one you. I would easily smoke your ass, okay? Because I'm a true gamer, okay? I snore eight lines of G Fuel before every single match of Overwatch 2. I make sure to have my uh, Diva Overwatch Rule 34 is just constantly streaming while I play. Because I'm a true gamer. Not not you because you spent thousands of dollars and played Dragon Ball Z. Nah, I am because I, I watch Overwatch porn. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you as a real fucking PC gamer that's been modding thousands of hours of content into my game and shit, hiring modders to fucking mod my games up, okay? Let Dumb argument number seven, uh, he's a true gamer because he pays people to mod his games. Clearly, we don't lack the intelligence on how to install them ourselves, so we have to pay people. He obviously pays people, so he's clearly lacking the intelligence. And from that statement, he's not a true gamer. Thank you for watching. Let me tell you, as a real PC gamer who's been emulating every single fucking console I have, ripping my fucking old libraries and turning them into ISO disk image files so that I can emulate them, as a real fucking PC gamer, this is an insult to us. Honey, where's the shotgun? The same PC, literally with an RTX 3050 in it, for like $650, the same price as this fucking machine, bro. You're saying that people want to get the Steam Deck because it's portable. And you're telling him to get a laptop, right? So, with a laptop, what do you need? You need a mouse, you need a charger cable, you need the actual laptop, you need a table to sit on. That's a pretty big space. Whereas with the Steam Deck, just you just need your hands. You can play the Steam Deck while going to the club for all I know. You can't do that with a laptop where you're a bit munted. Let that sink in. People are talking about how this is great for gaming on the go, portable. There, there's, bro... You can't put it in a pocket. There's nothing more portable than a laptop. In case says you can't put it in a pocket, yet again, this one image comes into mind because he's mentions I it, it, it's more portable. It's less portable than a laptop, and I just have this image in my mind constantly of someone shoving their laptop down their pants, saying it's more portable than the Steam Deck. By the way, I mean really, like, and it gets to a point where I get really frustrated because I had emulation working on this. It's a bit of a hassle to get it working on this, right? Everything on this device is like, you've got to tinker with it. You've got to kind of perfect it. But the thing is, it's a handheld. There's never been a handheld that has required this much babying. Literally just install Windows then. Like, they give you the option to. They say, oh, yeah, you can install Windows if you want. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to end the video here because it keeps on going on the same point. And I've already answered the question six times. So, yeah, keep safe. Hey, uh, yeah, so in post-production, the video is going to end there. Uh, turns out Quantum TV made a short based on this video called Steam Deck Trolls Get a Wake Up Call About High-End Climatic. I don't even know how to read. Uh, so, yeah, now we're doing a two-in-one special. This is just a short, like, two-minute clip, so, yeah, be easy. So, all the Steam Deck players that only put in $399 want to show up to the party and try to tell me the guy that paid six hundred and fifty dollars plus tax how i should feel about my experience on a product they couldn't even afford look mate it's the only difference between the cheapest fucking steam deck model and your model is the fucking screen which is the glass and the storage no other difference is known to mankind like literally i could go outside Rob some homeless dude, and I can still be a better gamer than you on a, the cheap Steam Deck. He's facing on that product. When you approach things at a certain level, and you buy the best of something, and there are problems, and you mention those problems, if you haven't arrived at an equivalent level, you have no seat at the table to start talking, running your mouth, or thinking you have any opinion about how that person should feel. Oh uh, yeah, so what you guys should do is uh, have a look at this image of a screenshot between me and my mate. Uh, he's the one with the uh, expensive Steam Deck, 
and this is his thoughts on it. Now you can read, pause the video. I don't care. I'm too lazy to read. Uh, yeah. At that price range, I think it's a very important distinction that we make about the Steam Deck that I was at the highest price point, and most of the people buying the Steam Deck are at the entry level lowest point with the 64 gigabyte version. Okay, so before people want to try to talk shit or come at me or feel like my take was bad, two things you've got to remember: one. I likely paid more than you did, so I have a reason to be more upset. And two, um, it's my opinion. If I don't like the fucking product, I don't have to, right? And if you want to sit here and trash somebody's opinion, keep that same fucking energy when it happens to you. Yeah, and it's my opinion, my personal belief. I strongly believe that your argument was horrible because, firstly, uh, you literally had no evidence to back up your claim apart from like one or two screenshots. Two, you're completely biased, and uh, finally, I don't, I just, I just don't like your content. Honestly, the most boring content known to mankind. Uh, therefore, I strongly believe that your channel is shit. And adios.